Good evening, everyone. How are you tonight? Good evening, teacher. Good Hello. evening, teacher. Good evening, Maria Elena. Good evening, Karina. How are you tonight? How was your day today? Very busy. Okay, yeah. I can tell, yeah. Um, Teacher, I'm sorry for last night, but um, me quedé sin internet. Oh, sí, me di cuenta y estuve uh -huh. chequeando los mensajes, ¿verdad? No sé si le hablaron el día de ahora, porque no. normalmente eh, cuando uno reporta, ¿verdad? Se ponen en contacto. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, no me llamaron. Ok, pero bien, está reportado, ¿verdad? Está reportado, okay. así que. Ok, gracias. Uh -huh. Permítanme, es que me costó bastante ingresar al Zoom ahora. No me daba la opción. Tuve que volver a iniciar todo. Okay, everybody ready? Ready, okay. Uh, solo quiero eh, tomar un momentito para que sigamos en sintonía. Um, Todos han podido accesar a la plataforma. Han hecho ya su tarea. Yeah. Yes. ¿Han tenido algún problema, alguna situación que quieran reportarme o preguntarme o decirme, mire, teacher, no entendí, ¿verdad? Y le podemos ayudar. De, de eso necesito hablar con ustedes. Ustedes no tengan ninguna pena de interrumpir en el momento que estamos en la clase. Ustedes me pueden decir, para eso es esta videoconferencia, para que eh, podamos intercambiar verdad la el conocimiento porque ustedes eh, necesitan conocer algo y probablemente alguna cosita también yo aprenda verdad de ustedes tal vez en el momento yo olvidé algo y ustedes me recuerdan intercambiamos y hacemos esto más rico más grande y más bonito verdad um, la otra cosa es que no tengan miedo de mandarme sus consultas vía WhatsApp. Para eso estoy, para poder ayudarles, apoyarles, colaborarles en lo que necesiten. La idea es que estos, estas 40 horas que tenemos de videoconferencia eh, sean enriquecedoras, ¿verdad? Entonces, si en el chat llevamos como un ritmo de, de pregunta, respuesta, diálogo... Entonces, yo creo que en la videoconferencia vamos a tener como un poquito más de fluidez, ¿verdad? Bueno, la tercera cosa sería, ¿verdad? Es que en la plataforma hay un foro de discusión, hay un foro de preguntas. Para el día de hoy he colocado una, eh, una actividad. Eh, ustedes van a encontrar ahí eh, una rutina de una persona ocupada, ¿verdad? Que se llama Jackie. Entonces, ustedes lo que tienen que hacer es leerla, comprenderla, y luego ustedes van a decir ahí abajo eh, si las tres o las cuatro oraciones que están ahí son verdaderas o son falsas. ¿Verdad? Si la, el, la afirmación es verdadera, ok, pon, dice usted verdadero, ¿verdad? No, no hay espacio mucho para 
contestar a la par, pero usted puede poner uno, verdadero, dos, falso, tres, ¿me entienden? La cuestión es que eh, veamos pues un movimiento de que usted está en sintonía, ¿verdad? Que estamos en la misma línea aprendiendo el contenido. Eh, ¿Sí saben cómo llegar a la discusión y, al, y a la pregunta en la plataforma? Arriba, arriba, aparece donde dice discussion. A ver, hablamos aquí. Permítanme. ¿Saben todos cómo llegar? ¿Alguien en la to Topic Level Student. No. Exactamente. Eh, no, está, no tiene viñeta, solamente tiene un tema. Uh -huh. Exactamente ahí. Para que ustedes añadan su respuesta o añadan su comentario. En ese caso, lo que van a añadir es lo que han comprendido, ¿verdad? Lo que es verdadero y lo que es falso. Vaya, vamos a ver. A la par de donde dice curse, ah, déjenme compartir esto. Lo voy a compartir completo. Okay. En esta, acá dice discussion. ¿Sí ven? Discussion. En la primera no hay actividad, ¿verdad? Permítanme que está cargado. En la segunda tampoco hubo actividad de discussion. Déjenme que cargue. Ok. Entonces veamos. The visible label. Hey, show all posts. Show all posts. My recent activity, let's see. Oh. No, estoy en, en el perfil de staff. Okay. Estoy en el perfil de staff. Permítanme. Ok, cuando ustedes van acá, abren su sección acá, ¿verdad? Déjenme llegar porque esto tarda en cargar un poquito. ¿Usted ya llegó, Auri, ahí, a esa parte? ¿Ya encontró la actividad? Ya sí, sí. Puede usted compartir la pantalla. Voy a dejar de compartir yo y, y usted comparte su pantalla. ¿Puede? ¿O está sí, desde el teléfono? Que, está desde el teléfono oh, y okay. la, la aplicación la tengo en, en, en otro teléfono. Ok, ok. Teacher, uh -huh. si gustas, le comparto. Sí, porque el mío está tardando en cargar porque yo tengo todas las otras aplicaciones abiertas. Y no las puedo estar cerrando y abriendo las otras. A ver, compártanme. Okay, Voy okay. a dejar de compartir yo. Ok. Ok. Aquí está. Exactamente. Thank you very much. Uh, Juan Carlos es verdad. No, Edwin. ¿Quién me la compartió? Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos. Thank yes. you very much, Juan Carlos. Uh, aquí tenemos la discusión. Para llegar acá, ustedes van a la parte de discusión, thank you, y le dan exactamente, donde, exactamente ahí. 
todos los temas y luego ahí les va a aparecer lo de la semana 1, ¿verdad? Uh, semana 1, semana 2, semana 3, semana 4. Ahora, en la semana 1 tenemos esta actividad que dice Let's talk about daily routines. Let's talk about daily routines. Estas se las mandé también en el grupo, ¿ok? Se las mandé en el chat. Para que, pues, si no lo pueden apreciar bien acá, ustedes puedan ampliarlo y hacerlo para poder leer bien toda la, la, el texto, ¿ok? The text or the reading, la lectura. Ve, yo como que es mi pantalla, le voy a, a picar. Uh, ¿Puede bajar, por favor? Could you please scroll down? Scroll down. Thank you. Y ahí está la indicación. There is the instruction. It says, read Jackie's daily routine and say if the following sentences are true or false. Read Jackie's daily routine and say if the following sentences are true or false. And then you read the four sentences. Ustedes leen las cuatro oraciones. And then you uh, add an answer. Añade una respuesta. Pica ahí donde dice añade una respuesta. You, you click on that button. Okay. Y ya pone usted la número uno es falsa, la número dos es. Okay. Correct. Questions? Eso será en un tiempo libre que ustedes tengan, ¿verdad? Okay. Ahora, thank you very much, um, Juan Carlos, por compartir. Yo no lo hallé. Vamos a tomar la asistencia. We're going to take the attendance, ¿ok? Y además, y además, de seguro que vos no buscas. Y ahora necesitas tarea con la profe. No sí. ocupaste el lápiz. Y entonces, ¿por qué me estás echando a mí la culpa? Sí. Entonces, yo lo metí. Mentira, lo que metiste. Ya me has puesto los libros, busca. Okay. Por alguna razón, el día de hoy, este sistema está un poco más lento. Today that it is not raining. Ahora que no está lloviendo, ¿verdad? Well, not raining here. But I don't know if it is raining around your house. <laughs> I don't know if in your place it's raining. Aquí se está lloviendo. Oh, then that is why. Todavía no me ha cargado. Oh, my God. Y me costó ingresar a Zoom el día de hoy. Yo creo que por la lluvia de, de por ahí, por ustedes, el mío está lento. <ríe> Y es que estaba todo abierto. Yo tenía todo listo, pero a la hora de querer ingresar, como no podía ingresar a Zoom, tuve que reiniciar todo para que me apareciera la opción iniciar la sesión. Oh, my God. Hoy sí sufrí. Hoy sí sufrí. <ríe>
Ok, mientras carga bien lo de la lista, porque ni tampoco en el otro puedo abrir ahorita, en el que está fuera de línea no lo puedo abrir tampoco, no carga, I don't know why. Vamos a comenzar la clase. We're going to start a class. So we're going to switch into English. Okay. We're going to switch into English. And then when it's charged, then I'm going to take the attendance. Okay. One second. And let me share the screen for you because we need to. Okay. We need to see the objective for today. The objective for today. Okay, there we are. We're going to read the class objective and the specific objective for unit one. Let's remember what is the objective for unit one. We are describing regular activities in the workplace, and we are talking about everyday situations. What is the specific objective? Describe regular activities in the workplace and tell everyday situations. Now, what is the class objective? The objective for today, okay? Today's objective is that you are going to learn how to make negative statements or sentences in the present simple tense, okay? We are going to learn how to use do not and does not, okay? Now, Let's see our agenda for today. What date is it today? What date is it today? What date is it today? May 27, 2021. Mm -hmm. Okay, today is May the 27th of 2021. Excellent. What date is it today, Edwin? Hello, hello. What date is it today? What day is it today? Today is uh, May 25. 27. 27. Uh, of uh, ¿Cómo se dice? 2021. Uh, no, pero, pero la fecha, o sea, no, like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. May the 27th of 2021. Okay. When anyone asks, what date is it today? Today is May the 27th, 
of 2021, correct? Okay, I'm going to ask the last time. What date is it today? Everybody activate your audio and say the date. May 27, 2021. 2021. Correct. Correct. 2021. That's the year. Okay. That's the current year. Es el año en curso, ¿verdad? current year 2021 okay the, the agenda for today we are going to uh make a little feedback about daily routines and uh how to use the time expression so we need to make a little feedback then we are going to learn how to use do not and does not and then we are going to have a little conversation time in our breakout rooms. It says Ramas there, right? Rooms. Hmm. There you are. And we are having some written activities in our manuals, okay? Then we are gonna have a little chat. Okay, let's start with this reading, okay? This is to make a little feedback from yesterday. We are gonna say the activity and using time expressions, okay? And time, time. So let's listen. Let's listen, everybody. Pay attention and listen. Jackie is very busy. She gets up at 6 a.m. on weekdays. Then she brushes her teeth and gets dressed. After that, she has a quick breakfast and goes to the gym. After the gym, she takes a shower and gets dressed to go to work. Then she drives to work. She gets to work at 9 a.m. At work, she has meetings, makes phone calls, and prepares documents. At 1 p.m., she has lunch. Sometimes she has business lunches with her clients. After lunch, she goes back to work. She finishes work around 7 p.m. Then she goes home. She gets home around 8 p.m. She has dinner, watches TV, and sometimes she likes to read. After that, she takes a shower and goes to bed around 11 p.m. Okay, let's listen to that again. Jackie is very busy. She gets up at 6 a.m. on weekdays. Then she brushes her teeth and gets dressed. After that, she has a quick breakfast and goes to the gym. After the gym, she takes a shower and gets dressed to go to work. Then she drives to work. She gets to work at 9 a.m. At work, she has meetings, makes phone calls, and prepares documents. At 1 p.m., she has lunch. Sometimes she has business lunches with her clients. After lunch, she goes back to work. She finishes work around 7 p.m. Then she goes home. She gets home around 8 p.m. She has dinner, watches TV, and sometimes she likes to read. After that, she takes a shower and goes to bed around 11 p.m. Okay. What does Jackie do every day? What does Jackie do every day? Ah, okay. This is what she does every day. This is her daily routine, okay? We could ask also, what's Jackie's daily routine? Okay, what is Jackie? Jackie's daily routine, okay? I'm going to write down those questions because they are very important, okay? Usualmente, cuando nosotros conocemos a alguien en nuestro trabajo, 
y le dicen a uno, uh, ¿y usted en qué puesto trabaja? ¿Verdad? ¿Usted en qué puesto desempeña? Ah, yo soy asistente corporativo. We don't have any idea what is that. Porque no trabajamos en esa compañía, no tenemos la idea de qué es lo que hace ese puesto de trabajo, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿qué le están preguntando? Ah, le, le van a hacer una pregunta como esta, ¿ok? What do you do? ¿Ok? Ahora, vamos a querer saber, we want to know about Jackie's activities in this reading, ¿ok? In this reading, we want to know Jackie's activities. So we could say, what, I'm sorry, what does Jackie do every day? Okay. Podemos decir, what does Jackie do? Okay. What does Jackie do? What does Jackie do? What does Jackie do? Okay. What does Jackie do? Then, if you see here, it says at work, she has meetings, makes phone calls, and prepares documents. Ah, then sometimes she has business lunches with her clients. Ah, maybe she work like in sales or maybe she is a manager we don't know right we don't know exactly but these are her activities okay what does jackie do what does jackie do okay what does jackie do now also we can ask what What is Jackie, Jackie's schedule, ¿ok? Y ponemos la palabra like, ¿ok? What is Jackie's schedule like? What is Jackie's schedule like? Todas estas preguntas, todas estas preguntas requieren que usted Haga esta aclaración, esta declaración y cuente toda su historia de las actividades que usted realiza. Ok. For example, in this case, what does Jackie do? Then we listen that Jackie is very busy. She gets up at 6 a.m., etc. Ok. After that explanation, let's listen again. Ok. Let's listen to this reading again. What? Jackie is very busy. She gets up at 6 a.m. on weekdays. Then she brushes her teeth and gets dressed. After that, she has a quick breakfast and goes to the gym. After the gym, she takes a shower and gets dressed to go to work. Then she drives to work. She gets to work at 9 a.m. At work, she has meetings, makes phone calls, and prepares documents. At 1 p.m., she has lunch. Sometimes, she has business lunches with her clients. After lunch, she goes back to work. She finishes work around 7 p.m. Then she goes home. She gets home around 8 p.m. She has dinner, watches TV, and sometimes she likes to read. After that, she takes a shower and goes to bed around 11 p.m. Okay, now let's listen this question. What time does Jackie have lunch? Okay, what time? Does Jackie have lunch? Let's see, Raquel. What time does Jackie have lunch? At 1 p.m. Excellent. At 1 p.m. 
Jackie has lunch at 1 p.m. What time does Jackie have lunch, Wendy? One p.m. Very good. At one p.m. It means that Jackie has lunch at one p.m. That's the answer. Jackie has lunch at one p.m. Jackie has lunch at one p.m. Okay. Now let's see what um what time does Jackie have lunch? Ana Cristina. At 1 p.m. Very good. Now, at the moment, thank you very much, Ana Cristina. Now, at the moment, it's better if you get used to give the complete answer. Okay. En este momento de eh, su aprendizaje, lo mejor es que ustedes se acostumbren a dar la respuesta completa. ¿Para qué? Para que su cerebro empiece a ordenar su idea. Ok, a ordenar su idea. Entonces, ¿cómo sería la respuesta? What time does Jackie have lunch? Jackie has lunch. Jackie has lunch at 1 p.m. Jackie has lunch at 1 p.m. Let's write this answer. Okay. Jackie has lunch at one, let's say one o'clock, right? One o'clock p.m. or 1 p.m. That's the answer. What time does Jackie have lunch? Ah, Jackie has lunch at 1 p.m. Next, let's come, let's listen. Let's continue. Jackie has lunch at 1 p.m. Okay, Jackie has lunch at 1 p.m. Now, let's listen to the next question. Does Jackie finish work at 6 p.m.? Does Jackie finish work at 6 p.m.? No. Uh-huh. Jackie finished her work at 7 p.m. Okay, no, she doesn't, okay? No, she doesn't. Mm -hmm. okay. Then we could say, Jackie finishes, you see? Finishes work around 7 p.m. Esta sería una respuesta completa, ordenando nuestra, nuestro pensamiento, ¿verdad? Ubicando nuestro pensamiento. Let's try to hear the... Go here. No, she doesn't. She finishes work around 7 p.m. Okay. Now, let's listen to the complete audio now. And this is the last time that we are listening to it, okay? Jackie is very busy. She gets up at 6 a.m. on weekdays. Then she brushes her teeth and gets dressed. After that, she has a quick breakfast and goes to the gym. After the gym, she takes a shower and gets dressed to go to work. Then she drives to work. She gets to work at 9 a.m. At work, she has meetings, makes phone calls, and prepares documents. At 1 p.m., she has lunch. Sometimes she has business lunches with her clients. 
After lunch, she goes back to work. She finishes work around 7 p.m. Then she goes home. She gets home around 8 p.m. She has dinner, watches TV, and sometimes she likes to read. After that, she takes a shower and goes to bed around 11 p.m. Okay, now let's listen to the questions and the answers, okay? Just let me move this thing for you to have. Okay, there we are. for making it more visible, okay? At the time that you listen. There we are. What time does Jackie have lunch? Jackie has lunch at 1 p.m. Does Jackie finish work at 6 p.m.? No, she doesn't. She finishes work around 7 p.m. Okay, questions about the vocabulary here? Do you have any question? Client. Client. Uh, Me estaban haciendo una pregunta. No? Okay. Client means people who goes to buy things to a company, right? Client. Now let's continue and let's see. And these are your questions. What do you do? What's your schedule like? What's your daily routine? Okay, I'm going to ask. What do you do, Carla Veronica? I answer I answer the phone. Okay. Um I check the report. Um I prepare the documents. Documents, okay. Um at lunch at uh, twelve. Okay, I have lunch at 12. If I have lunch at 12, then I can say, I have lunch at noon. Okay. I have lunch at noon. Okay. Now let's see. What do you do, Kevin Antonio? I, I wore. Um, uh, today, um, I at I patient clients clients. Okay, I assist clients. Mm -hmm. I assist clients. Um, I is is I. The university. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So you you study it. Okay. You study. Very good. Mm -hmm. um, 
-hmm. It studies English. Okay, very good. Now we are going to add a little more thing. Let's see, Edwin Eliseo, what do you do every morning? What do you do every morning? Okay, uh, in the morning. Yes. I wake up at 6 a.m. Um, I uh, um, breakfast at uh, I take a, I take a shower. Ah, uh, okay, very good. <laughs> at six and thirteen p.m. Okay, okay, very mm. good. <clears throat> uh, I breakfast. I have a breakfast. Pardon. Excuse me. <laughs> at seven, I borrow the word. At seven and thirteen p.m. I know. Well, um, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo digo específicamente? Yo entro a trabajar. I start work. I, I start work. Ah, okay. I start work at 8 a.m. I, I drink coffee. I, um, uh, it, Mm, no sé. But it's very good. It's very good because you do a lot of things during the morning. So now we're gonna um, uh, yeah, we're gonna agree in this thing. Okay, just let me let me erase this. Oh, then I'm going to use it again. I'm gonna put it right here. Okay, para que nos entendamos un poquito y ustedes puedan tener un poquito de vocabulario para la clase. Cuando quieran preguntar, when you want to ask, when you don't know how to say something, cuando no sepan una palabra en inglés, ustedes me preguntan, how do you say? Y me dicen la palabra en español, ¿ok? How do you say ventana? Can you tell me? How do you say ventana in English? Window. 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 Okay. Do you see? How do you say? Um, let's see. How do you say? Estudiar in English. Study. 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 Okay. You can say, how do you say? And then you say the word and say in English if you want. Okay. ¿Cómo me van a preguntar? How do you how say? How do you say? Okay. How do you say? How do you say Excellent. How do you say computadora in English? Computing. Computing. Excellent. So you see, this is the this is the question that you are going to use to ask. Okay, when you don't know the word that you need. Okay, to express. Okay, let's continue. I'm going to erase this thing. And now you sew, you sew. For example, Edwin and uh, it was Carla, right? Who said? Yeah, Carla, Veronica. Okay, now what are we going to do? We're going to go to the breakout rooms. Okay, and you are going to ask these questions to your partner, okay? I want you to use the vocabulary of the activities that we have been studying, okay? We said, for example, I call clients, I visit clients, I go to work, I go to the warehouse, I turn on the computer, activities, okay? You can also add your own vocabulary, okay? Entonces nos vamos a los uh, 
a las salas para poder practicar, ¿ok? Ustedes le hacen las preguntas a su compañero y su compañero tiene que decirles así como contestó Edwin y como contestó Carla, ¿ok? There you are. Y este asunto no cargó, lo vamos a tener que volver a cargar. Ah, hoy cargó más rápido, ok. Entonces voy a tomar la asistencia, chicos. Ok. Está cargando bien. Por favor, please turn on your camera and say present. Uh, teacher, I, want uh -huh. to, uh, I, uh, I don't have a, a manual. Excuse me? I don't have a manual. Uh, no, o sea, no tengo el manual. O sea, no, lo revisé yeah, I, no me I, I understand what you say, but uh, I was trying to figure out. Estaba tratando de imaginar. Um, tiene, o sea, en la plataforma no le aparece. No. Okay, so if you, uh, does anybody have that problem too? Alguien más tiene ese problema? No? Okay, um, I sent the, um, I sent the manual through the chat. I don't know if you get it. No sé si lo recibió. Lo envié por el chat de WhatsApp. Uh, no, sure. Eh, no, teacher. Lo que pasa es que no me, no me había agregado todavía al grupo. De, ah, de okay. Then I'm going to send it uh, send it again. Okay. I'm going okay, to send it you. again. Just let me let me uh, take the attendance and then I will send this thing. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Let's see, Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. No, Alejandra. Alexis Antonio Sandoval Morales. No, right. Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Present teacher. Okay. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present teacher. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Present teacher. Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso. Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present teacher. Okay, Giovanni Alexander Ramirez Sánchez. Present teacher. Jonathan Ernesto Fuentes Marín. No, Jonathan again. Oh, this is the second day. Jose Atilio Mangandi Alvarado. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present teacher. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Zuria López. Present. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Luis Roberto Mejía Menéndez. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Present teacher. Nancy Ibeto Barrivera. Present teacher. Okay. Omar Mozo Flores. Omar Alfredo Mozo Flores. Present teacher. Okay. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present. Auri Elena Segovia Rugamas. Okay. 
Edwin Eliseo Orellana um, Vivas. Present. Okay. Uh, Félix Moisés Blanco Araniva. Javier Adolfo Mendoza Tobar. Okay, now I'm going to send the thing, the manual. And then I want you to practice in the rooms, okay? En lo que se van agregando, yo les voy a poner el manual y les voy a poner la, la diapositiva, ¿ok? There you are. Uh -huh. um, what is your daily routine? Oh, my routine is um, every day um, 6 a.m. Uh, 6 a.m. I'm taking a shower. Uh, No, oh, no, sorry, 5 a.m. I take in a shower. 6 a.m. <laughs> I go to, I go, 6 a.m. I go to the work. Mm -hmm. Okay, Vladimir, hello. 6 hello. Uh, you can take the example from the routine that we read, la, la rutina que ya leímos. Ahí puede tomar usted ejemplo. You can take the example how to say your routine. For example, you said uh, at 6 a.m. I take a shower. Okay. So you oh, can say I take a shower at 6 a.m. Okay. okay. <laughs> Así okay. como lo tiene uh, escrito en, en el de Jackie. Ajá. Uh -huh. Solo que lo pasa a, esta es tercera persona, usted lo pasa para usted, ¿ok? You, you transform it, ¿ok? There you are. Take the example, take the example. Go ahead. Oh, oh um, eh, bueno, este, tengo que hacerlo con, con, según el ejemplo que mandó en el horario de Jackie. No, no, en oh. your, your, your schedule. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, five a.m. Okay. Uh, five a.m. Uh, I take a shower. No sería, digamos, a las cinco de la mañana tomo una ducha. Yes, but don't translate. No lo traduzcamos. Continúe. Dele, dele. Póngase ahí con movimiento. Movement, movement. <laughs> dele, dele. Va bien. Uh, six, six, six a.m. I go to the work. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 and I, uh, and, and I am, and I, come on. 
one. M, I am, I have breakfast. Uh, they are ready, they, I am ready for work. <laughs> okay, very good. Eh, sigo con toda la rutina del día, no sé si. Uh, you can ask Karina. Oh, ok. Entonces, le... aunque a Karina ya le pregunté, what do you do in the morning? Oh, very so... good. I want to hear, I want to hear. Come on, Karina. Go ahead. Ok. I get up at 6.30. Um... Then I start my classes at 7 a.m. Um, I finish my classes at 10.40. Then I, I take a shower and I go to work. And in the work, I invoice and at, prepare. At in, work? At, at work. work. Uh -huh. At work, I invoice and prepare accounting books. <laughs> oh, very good. Very good. What time do you finish work? I finish work at 6 p.m. Okay. And what time do you finish work, Vladimir? Uh, I finish work um 6 uh, p.m. Okay. And what time do you get home? What time do you get home? Uh, Uh, ¿cree que me re repite la pregunta? What time do you get home? What, What time, time do you arrive to your house? Pero, por la casa. Um, no, no. What about you, Karina? Wait, wait, Vladimir, wait, wait. Uh, um, What about you, Karina? I arrive to home at 6.30, 640. Okay, then Vladimir, I arrive home at. Uh, I am ready um, 6 p.m. Uh, okay, you finish work at 6 p.m. Uh, uh, and then you leave yeah. work and go home, right? Then what time do you uh, get home? Es que es vivo cerca, por eso. Es que oh, casi, that is, uh, uh, that's the reason. I was thinking about um, the traffic. Imagine I, uh, one, six, two hours in the traffic I'm here. Almost six, six minutes. <laughs> oh, okay. Very good. Very good. That's nice. Yeah. Okay. Continue, guys. I'm going to another group. You are doing a good job. Okay. Continue. Okay. You have three questions there. You can chat a little, okay, about the daily okay. routines. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, what do you do in your work? Uh, I go to work. Eight, 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 ah, seven. Seven, see seven. Yes, seven. seven. <laughs> Hello, how are you, girls? <laughs> how are you doing? How are seven, you? Doing? Eight, eight. Okay. How are you doing? Is it okay, everything here? Is everything okay? Está todo bien? Is everything okay? Yes. Okay. Good. 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 So, what time do you have lunch? Eh, eh, 12 y media. I have lunch. I have I lunch, lunch at I have lunch at I have lunch at, at, at 12. Uh -huh. 12 p uh, o'clock. Okay. If I you say lunch, uh -huh. I have lunch at 12. At 12. If it is at 12, it's at noon. Remember? At 12, uh, middle day, at noon. Okay? 
okay. at noon. Okay, guys, girls, you are doing a good job. So I'm going to another yeah. room, okay? Let's meet us later. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you doing here? Hello. Tell me. Tell me, uh, tell me, what can I do? We go to war in the mound now, and in the mound now. Uh, I'm so, yeah, I sent it. The manual? Mm, yes. Mm -hmm. What page? 14. I think we are in page 14. Pero ahorita, ahorita, ahorita la actividad. Yes. No, la actividad, remember, la actividad oh. es que ustedes se van a hacer las tres preguntas que estábamos haciendo. What's your schedule like? What do you do? And what's your daily routine? Okay. Okay. You can repeat again mm -hmm. the question. I sent it through the chat. Uh, I'm okay. going to, I'm going to, uh, la recibió? Revisen no. ahorita, check it. It's a slide. No. It's this slide. Uh, you see? Oh, yeah. Uh, in, in the WhatsApp, yeah. Yes. WhatsApp. Yes, yes. WhatsApp. What do you do? What do you uh, Las tres preguntas es prácticamente eh, lo mismo. Las tres preguntas es prácticamente lo mismo, ¿ok? Lo que van a hacer es hablar así como hablaron de Jackie. ¿Se recuerdan que Jackie, uff, dijo todo, todo lo del día? Hasta la hora en que se va a dormir, ¿verdad? So that's what you are talking about. ¿Ok? The what, things what that is, you do every day. Excuse me, teacher, what is schedule? Schedule is the time and the activity. The time. ¿A qué horas? Time. Uh, it's called do like. Uh -huh. Exactly. Eh, ¿Cómo es el horario? Right? Oh. Esa es oh. una frase completa. No mm. cambia. Siempre va a ser what's your schedule like. Y eso lo que significa es que usted va a dar una explicación así como la que dieron de Jackie. Ok. Cuando le hagan esa pregunta, usted comienza, well, I get up at 5 a.m. in the morning, then I take a shower at 6 a.m., and then I have a little breakfast, or I don't have breakfast, and then I go to work at 7.30 a.m., I get to work at um, 8.30 a.m., and... I drink a cup of coffee and then I go and assist clients. Okay, activities and time. Activities and time. Correct? Activities every day. Yeah, things that you do every day or things that you do in your day. Okay. Okay. Good. There you go. I want to hear you, girl. Okay. Guys. Thank you, teacher. Okay, I want to hear you. Nancy, ask the question and Giovanni start the answer. Okay. Um, what do you do? Oh. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Mi rutina. okay. Um, usted le puede I preguntar can... cualquiera de las tres y las tres tienen casi la misma respuesta. O sea, es okay. lo mismo. Actividades y horas. Actividades y usando las time expressions. ¿Verdad? Okay. O sea, cualquiera de las tres puedo preguntar a Exactly. Cuando están de la misma forma. Exactly. There you go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bueno. What your shape? Schedule. Is capture like? Give me one second. I don't know, Giovanni. Giovanni. Se le cayó el link. 
Es lo más seguro. Bueno, entonces, teacher, estas tres preguntas prácticamente se refieren a lo mismo, sobre la rutina diaria, con, como, es decir, hay que I am, y de, de empezar desde, desde que, hasta que no termino. Exactly. Okay. Uh -huh. Bueno, todo lo que me... Ah, una preguntita. Uh -huh. Cuando yo, cuando yo quiero, cuando yo quiero decir que I work, And they, sería trabajo todo el día, o, sea, tra o trabajo de, para decir, de 8 a 5, estaría diciendo from. Exactly, I work from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Sería from at, y luego sería. From to, at, from. At, ok, I work from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Ah, okay. Okay. Esa es una. Y... Okay. Y primero. Diner es cena, ¿verdad? Dinner. Dinner. Mm -hmm. Dinner. Ajá, uh -huh. because diner is the furniture. Diner es el área de donde usted come. Okay. Es el... Um, el comedor, right? Diner. Dinner Diner. es el tiempo de la cena. Las pronunciaciones son diferentes, ¿ok? Ok. Dinner. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, teacher. No problem, Giovanni. Se fue el inter. I problem. You have a problem? I have a problem. Oh, really? But, yes. uh, but are you okay now? Yes. Okay. Uh, you start, Nancy. Oh, okay. Are, are you ready to start now? Okay. Okay, Nancy, ask the question. Okay. What, what do you do? I, I call clients in my work. Mm, I get up at 5 a.m. Um, and let's have breakfast. Okay. I have the breakfast and I take shower. Uh, I go to work at 7 a.m. Uh, from from 8 a.m. at 6 p.m. I work. Mm. I don't know. Okay, just remember to have an order. Siempre acuérdense de llevar un orden. First, the things that you do in the morning, then the things that you do in the uh, at noon, and then the things that you do in the afternoon, and then the things that you do in the evening, like in order, right? In order. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you please continue, and I'm uh, going to another room, okay? Okay. See okay, teacher. Thank you. Hello. I don't listen. Thank you. Uh, did you finish? Yes. Ah, okay. Um, okay, very good. Very good.
Okay, everyone. We are going to continue. And we are gonna go to talk about money again. Do you remember how much and how many? Yes. Okay. Now we are going to continue with that topic in our manuals. In our manuals, we have these questions. These questions. Do you see in page 14? Page 14, we have these questions. And number one says, how much do they pay? How much do they charge? How much is it? How much do you earn every month or how much do you earn monthly? Okay, do you see here that we are using how much? How much? This is because we are talking about money, okay? About money. When we talk about money, we use how much? How much? Because money is uncountable. Even though you can count the bills, you can count the coins, you can count um, the checks, but you cannot count the money. So this is why we use how much how much, okay? Now, let me go to the... The first question that you had in your manual was, uh, I'm sorry, the third, the third question, this one. It says, how much is it? How much is it? How much is it is used when you ask for the price of something. Usted quiere comprar algo y, que, y llega a la tienda y pregunta, how much is it? How much is it? You want to buy this brush. Usted quiere comprar esta brocha y dice, how much is it? Porque usted quiere saber cuánto vale. Okay. How much is it? How much is it? That's the question to ask for the price. Now let's go and see how to ask for the price. ¿Eh? ¿Cómo preguntar el precio? How to ask for the price. So ask, asking for the price. And let's see. How much is it? How much is it? Let's talk about this brush, for example. How much is it? Oh, it's one fifty. It's one. 50, then we say the amount in money, right? The amount of money. So I'm going to ask a question, okay? And you give an imaginary answer, okay? If you want to tell us how much is the thing that I am asking for, then you can say the, the uh, actual price, but if not, you want to imagine, it, it, I'm sorry, if you want to imagine, then give us an imaginary price. So I'm going to ask Ana del Carmen, okay? How much? Okay, ese it que está ahí va a ser el lapicero que ella está usando, okay? And then we are gonna say, how much is that pen? Uh, how much is, is, how much is it? It's uh, one dollar. Okay, it's one dollar. It's one dollar. It's okay. one dollar. Okay, show us your pen, please. Show us your pen. Muestrenos el lapicero. Show the pen. Okay. Ana del Carmen está vendiendo ese lapicero. Okay. Ana del Carmen está vendiendo ese lapicero. Y... Nosotros le vamos a preguntar, hey, ¿cuánto vale, Ana? ¿Ok? Entonces le vamos a decir, how much is it, Ana? ¿Ok? Now, everyone, activate your audio and Ana nos va a contestar el precio. ¿Ok? Everybody, activate your audio and let's ask, how much hey. is it, Ana? Hey, how, how much, much is, is it, Ana? Is, how much is, is it one dollar? 
it's one dollar. Hey, do you want to buy it? Oh, it's too expensive, right? Yeah. It's too expensive. <laughs> <laughs> it's very expensive, but no, it is okay. Okay, the opposite of expensive is cheap, okay? El contrario de, de caro es barato. So, sí, expensive, cheap. a lot of caro. money. Cheap, less money. Uh, a little of money, okay? So, let's continue. If I want to ask about an a specific product, an a specific product, then I say the product. Then I ask, how much is the, this computer? How much is this computer? And then what is the way to answer? It's, y decimos la cantidad, it's $700, okay? Now, if I want to ask for something that I don't have near me, algo que yo no tengo cerca, yo voy a preguntar, así, ¿verdad? That, correct? That, mm -hmm. porque está lejos y es solo una cosa. Entonces voy a decir that. Y ahí tenemos en el cuadro verde, in the green box. How much is that jacket? How much is that jacket? Ah, it's $95.99, correct? Questions? Do you have questions here? No questions? Uh, teacher, uh, how much? How much is it? Es, es algo, uh, is no es, no es specific uh, product. Yeah, no, it's asking for the price. It's asking for the price or asking uh, for the total price. Okay, for the total. Si usted quiere preguntar por el total del precio, how much is it? Y si quiere preguntar el total de varias cosas, por ejemplo, how much is it? La cuenta, right? Uh, and if you are not just seeing the product here, then you can say, hey, how much is it? How much is it? You don't say the product. See, I see Yes, okay. it is like thank that. You. Okay, okay now, how much is this computer? Everybody answer, it's $700. Everybody, how much is this computer? It's $700. Okay, okay, very good. Now, um, the green box. How much is that jacket? It's $95.99. Okay, very good. If you see the answer for the three, the three questions is the same. It's, it's, okay? Do you see the answer here? It's. It's it, and with three, uh, with these three questions, we are asking for one item. Estamos preguntando por un item, okay? For one product, one item, okay? How much is it? It's one fifty. How much is this computer? It's seven hundred dollars. How much is that jacket? It's ninety five ninety nine. Okay, now what? If we want to ask for more products, not only one, maybe two, three, or four, okay? Mm. Then we use plural, plural. How much are these? How much are these? Okay? How much are these? Correct? Then we use plural. I have them. Near, I use this, okay? Then, how much are those shoes? They are far, okay? Now, re uh, repeat after me. How much are these? How much are these? How much are these? Are these? They are $12.90 each. $80.90 Okay, how much are those shoes? How much are those shoes? They are $110. They are $110. Y hay productos que siempre son plural. 
ok, siempre son plural, por ejemplo, los lentes, como tenemos dos ojos, ok, siempre van juntos, ya, yeah. we can say a ah, glass, porque son dos glasses, ok, son dos pants. glasses, pants, porque pants. tenemos dos piernas, we have two legs, ok, si decimos one pant, entonces solo una, un, una pierna nos van a vender, right, <laughs> so, Pants, always plural. Sunglasses, glasses are plural. So let's read the last one. Beautiful sunglasses. How much are they? Everybody repeat. Beautiful sunglasses. Beautiful sunglasses. Beautiful How sunglasses. much are they? They are $50. They are $50. They are $50. Okay, now yeah, let's very good. Now let's go. Let's go to the manual and let's work in it. Okay, we're going to work in this thing. This is very interesting. Talking about money. There you go. Now let's remember. Let's remember the conversation. The conversation, okay? Let's remember also that there are things that we can count and there are things that we cannot count. We can count the days, but we cannot count the money. Now, let's remember Ruth and Josh. Let's remember Ruth and Josh. Who wants to be Ruth? Who wants to play Ruth? ¿Quién quiere ser Ruth? Me. Okay, go ahead. Now, Josh? Me. Okay, let's start. One, two, and three. Hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacation at your job? Yeah, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? 20 days, Do to be as exact. How many bonus do you have per year's root? I have four bonus. What are about you? And how much do you receive? I have just two, but, oh, but each bonus is for more than and 66, 600, six hundred dollars. Six hundred okay. Very good. Do you see here we have how many for days and how much talking about money? Okay. Let's see the uh, question number one. It says, how much do they pay? How much do they pay? Ahí están preguntando um, cuánto paga esa compañía. Okay, how much that company pays to their employees as a salary, okay? They are asking for how much is the salary in that company. They, if you see here, it says they, here. They, in that case, is the company, okay? They, they are uh, saying the company. So how much do they pay? How much do they pay? Now, let's go to the other question. And it says, how much do they charge? Ah, también están hablando de precio. This is another way to ask for the price. How much do they charge? How much do they charge? Okay, they are asking for the price too. Now, let's see, how much is it? What are they asking for here? How much is it? ¿De qué están preguntando ahí? How much is it? What are they asking for? ¿Cuánto vale eso? Correct. Asking for the price. Okay. What are they asking for? They are asking for the price. Okay. When you use how much do they charge and how much is it? Those are two questions to ask for the price of something, okay? Now, the last one. Can you read that, um, 
that question, please, Juan Carlos? The last question. How much do you earn every month, monthly? Okay, every month is the same as we say monthly. Remember, every month equals monthly. So we are going to say like this. Thank you very much, Juan Carlos. How much do you earn every month? Okay. And we can ask, how much do you earn monthly? How much do you earn monthly? O sea que aquí tenemos dos preguntas. Okay. Here we have two questions. How much do you earn every month? It's a mystery. <laughs> yes, because usually we don't want to say, right? Uh huh. How much uh, do you earn monthly? There you are. How much do you earn monthly? In esta, we have two questions. How much do you earn every month? And how much do you earn monthly? Y es exactamente la misma pregunta y requiere exactamente la misma respuesta. What is the answer? The salary, okay? Your salary. That. Minimum. Minimum. Ah, the minimum, okay. Okay, the minimum, <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, here in El Salvador, we have that. Okay, we have that, the minimum. And United States, I think the minimum is $7 per hour, right? $7 per hour is the minimum, per hour. Can you imagine during the day, if you work for eight hours, eight for seven, well, then you have $56 each day or every day, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, but here in El Salvador, our salary or the minimum is um, three dollar and five. Uh, no, three uh -huh. hundred uh -huh. and five and like this, fifty five 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 dollar. No, no, no. Three or five. Uh, three or five. Uh -huh. Okay, is that is that the the minimum uh, here? Oh, uh, creo que sí. O oh, yes. tri, oh, 304.30. Ok. Ah, 304 y algo, creo que. Punto 17. Ajá, 17, sí. Exacto. Again, can you say? 304. Oh, 304. 17. 17. Yes. Oh, thank you very much. It's very sure amount. It's really a sure amount. Uh, three or four. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. The basic is, you know, higher. So yeah, three or four and seventeen. Okay. In this case, in this case, we read this um, this amount of money. Let's read it. It will be three hundred and four dollars. 17 cents okay 304 dollars 17 cents you see what's the minimum salary here in el salvador it yes. is 304 dollars 17 cents cents mm -hmm. Okay, now when they are asking, how much do you earn monthly? Uh, then you say an amount like this, right? Uh, but it's the same. We uh, have a way to answer this. I'm going to erase this box and let's go to the activity below, okay? Let's go to the activity below. What does it say that we have to do? It says, Circle the word that best completes the questions. Circle the word that best completes the questions. Number one, how much or how many do they pay? Which is correct, much or many? Much. How much. Okay, how much, how much? This is the correct one. 
Uh, I will I will try to circle that. Let me see. Uh huh. Then I think I can do this. There you are. Much is the correct. And number two. How many? Uh, okay. Can you read the complete uh, the complete question, please? Complete. How many number days? Two. How, many, How days? many days do you have in your vacation? Okay. Very good because we can count the days, so we use how many. There you go. Ay, qué bonito mi círculo, ¿verdad? Bien hechito. <laughs> okay, there you are. Hey, hey, hey. I'm going to erase the circles. They were not circles, but okay, we have to erase them. Now, let's complete this. Let's complete this. This is very interesting. Okay, let's go to the box uh, above, okay? From this box, we are going to complete the questions according to the answers, okay? According to the answers, we are going to write a question. So use one of the questions above to complete the mini conversations. Use one of the questions above to complete the mini conversations. Number one. How what, much it is? How much is it? Okay. How much? Uh -huh. Paper. Paper. Huh? How? Oops. How much? Is it? Are you sure is how much is it here? Yes. Okay, let's continue and then we recheck, okay? Number two. Number two. Astrid, Vladimir. Raquel, how much? Mm -hmm. how, how much do earn every money? Uh -huh. yeah. How much do you do they pay? Okay. Uh huh. Any other opinion? Which one? Uh, let's go above, okay? Let's go above and let's see them again. You see how much they charge, how much is it? How much do you earn every month? And it says, I make, I make. Ah, make is un verbo que nosotros podemos utilizar. We can use that verb to talk about the money that we earn, okay? So, so we can write here, how much do you earn monthly? Okay. Aquí pueden usar cualquiera de las dos, pueden usar Monthly or every month, okay? Correct. How much do you earn monthly? Y ustedes pueden contestar con ese verbo, make. Make, okay? Number three. How much do they, they change? How much? Do they do share? They share? Charge. Okay. Charge. charge. How much do they charge? Then we can answer. 
they take, right? They take. Okay, they take $23 per item. Number four. How much do they pay? Excellent. There you are. Okay, now let's say these questions. Okay, number one, letter A, Astrid and Ana Cristina. Number one, letter A, Astrid, B, Ana Cristina. La pregunta y la respuesta. Letter B, Ana Cristina, number one. Es repeat, repetir pregunta y respuesta. It's a conversation, okay? Astrid is going to ask the question and Ana is going to answer. Ah, okay. 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 How much it is? It is 10, uh, fix, 10, 50. Ten dollars fifty. Okay. Ten dollars fifty. Ten dollars fifty. Mm -hmm. $50. Okay. Now let's be careful when we say the question. For example, we usually usually are used to say it's right. So sometimes we say how much it is, but no, it is how much is it? Okay. Is it? Let's try again. How much is it? Everybody activate your audio. Everybody activate your audio. And let's say this question. How much is it? How much is it? How much is it? Correct, correct. Then in the answer, you can say it is, but you can also use a contraction. You can say it's, right? Pueden usar la contracción perfectamente y se oye mucho más bonito y más fluido if we use the contraction when we speak. Usualmente las contracciones son más para hablar y las formas completas son para escribir. Ok. Now, number two. Thank you very much, Astrid. Thank you very much, Ana Cristina. Now, number two. Let's see. Here I have. Raquel, letter A, and Kevin Antonio, letter B, from number two. Okay. How much do you air monthly? They made uh, six, um, six forty five dollars monthly. <laughs> Okay, I make 545, 545 monthly, okay? Okay, everybody activate your audio and we're going to repeat, okay? You are going to repeat after me. How much do you earn monthly? How much do you earn monthly? I make... I make, 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 make 545 monthly. I make 545 monthly. I make 545 monthly. Okay, everybody. 545. Okay, y para ser más específicos, decimos $545. Ok. $545. $545. $545. 
Okay. Number three. Let's see, Car uh, Carlos Eduardo. Okay. Let's see. Wendy is letter A. And Giovanni is letter B in number three. How much do they share? Uh, they take 23 per item. Okay, thank you very much. And everybody activate your audio and we're going to say the question after me. How much do they charge? How, How much, much do they, they, they charge? charge? How? Again, how much do they charge? How much do they charge? How much do they charge? They take twenty-three dollars per item. They take twenty-three dollars per item. Very good. Now, number four. Number four. Let's see, Karina. And Vladimir, Karina letter A, Vladimir letter B. How much do they pay? The company paid six dollar hundred nineteen went business business bonuses bonuses. Okay. Okay, bonuses. they are talking about the bonus six hundred. $90 is the salary, the basic, right? The base. And then you have some extra money for the sales or for, I don't know, getting goals, okay? So let's repeat after me, okay? Everybody, please repeat after me. How much do they pay? How, How much, much do, do they, they pay? pay? The company pays $690 with bonuses. Bonuses is plural and one bonus is singular. Okay, one bonus. So you can count the bonus, the bonus. One bonus, one two, bonus. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and uh, the amount that you won, bonuses, okay? Now let's continue. Let's continue because we want to go to the other topic here. El día de mañana vamos a ver esta parte de esta página. Y vamos a irnos directamente okay, a la parte en donde, um, en donde aprendemos negativos y positivos. Ok, negativos. Acá. El día de mañana vamos a trabajar esas páginas para ir cubriendo poco a poco el tema de how much and how many, ¿ok? Bien. Volvemos ahora al tema en que estábamos al principio. Let's go back to the topic about the daily routines and the things that um, we do, the activities, the schedules, etc. ¿ok? Then we are going to learn how to say that we don't do those activities, okay? That we don't do those activities. Okay. Let me go here. Page 18, page 18.
Okay. Now, it says here how to use simple present negative statements. Everybody, how to use simple present negative statements. Alguien me puede decir, esto ya lo conocemos un poco, ok? Ya lo utilizamos, ya lo hablamos. Ahora definámoslo, ok? Let's uh, try to define this thing. Alguien me puede decir qué es o qué utilizamos para hacer una oración negativa usando el presente simple, the present, the activities that we do. ¿Alguien me puede decir qué utilizamos? Objeto. Auxiliar. No. Bear. Ok. Uh, bear and complement. Ok. Ok, very good. So we use some help, right? This help is using do and does, right? So we have these helping verbs, correct? There you are. Now, what is the way to express something that uh, never happened. For example, we are going to say this. Oh. Maria works at HPBC, okay? That's the company where Maria work, works, okay? So it says, Maria works at H HPBC, but what if it is a lie or maybe it's wrong? No, she doesn't work over there. Ah, then we use does not to say that that's wrong, right? That's wrong, it's a mistake. Then we are going to say as you have in the manual, Maria, uh, well, in English, we don't use tildes, okay? No, in English, we don't have tildes. Maria doesn't work wow. at HPBC, ¿ok? Eso es, si yo cuando digo, María works at HPBC, hey, no, you are wrong, tú estás equivocado. Uh, María doesn't work at HPBC, then where does she work? María works. Va a separar el cuarto, at let's say Travers <laughs> Company. Okay, Travers and Company. There you go. Okay. What if it is a lie again? We use Maria doesn't work at correct. Aha. Imagínense que fuera una mentira. Okay, if it is a lie, then you can say, hey, no, Maria doesn't work at Travers that uh in, in company. Uh, Travers.com se dice, or you say Travers and Company. Okay, Travers and Company. Now let's think about um <clears throat> We send letters. 
Okay, we send letters. What do you think? Ah, oh, no, you are wrong. We, we, ¿cómo decimos we don't. en negativo? Excellent. We don't or do not, okay. Okay. And we could say what we do, right? We don't send letters. We send emails, right? Ha, ah, very um, uh, updated, right? Updated, bien actualizados, very updated. We don't send letters, we send emails, right? We send letters. No, we don't send letters. We send emails. You see, we use don't, we use doesn't to say no, okay? To say no. So what is the correct thing here? It is do not equals don't, okay? Complete and contraction. Now, don't is for I, you, we, and they. Now, does not equals doesn't. This is for she, he, and it, okay? Are we okay with this or do you have a question? Okay, now, if you don't have questions, please. In one minute, we are going to uh, write six negative sentences about you and maybe a coworker or maybe someone here. For example, you change the first one. We study English at 6 p.m. What do you think? Is it a lie? Es una mentira? Yes. Okay, then tell me the negative thing here. No, I don't. Uh, no, uh, as a sentence, as a sentence. Mm -hmm. We don't we don't study English, English class at six PM. Okay, now let's say another. Can you help me with another? Number two. Um, do you visit clients? Do you visit clients? What is client? I don't visit ah, clients. clients. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. I don't visit clients. Very good. Now, in the third person, let's use he and she. He. Uh-huh. Another activity. Um, can you help me, please? Don't. Doesn't. Doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't eat chicken. Oh, very good. Okay. Do you have breakfast every day? Yes, I do. Okay. Um, does someone here doesn't take a breakfast? Alguien no desayuna aquí? Todos desayunan. Yeah, very good. This is very healthy people. These are very healthy people. Okay, todos cenan. Yes. 
Yes. Oh my God, everybody have dinner, okay. Let's think about a thing that you don't do. Aha, uh -huh. we're gonna say, this is a joke, okay? This is a joke, este es un chiste. You, oh, let me get there. Uh-huh, don't take a shower <laughs> every day. Oh my God, right? Yes, I, yes, I now. do. <laughs> no, Nelly, this is just a Nelly. joke. <laughs> yeah, very smelly. It's, it's smelly. Right. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. Now this was just a joke, and I'm going to erase it because here everybody takes a shower. So we are gonna uh, say another thing. Uh huh. Uh, once a week. Once a week. Oh my God! Every Saturday. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Only on Saturdays. <laughs> Only on holidays, right? Uh, yes. Excuse me? Yes. Uh-huh. She? Doesn't. She doesn't drink Coca-Cola. Oh, very um, good. So. Uh, let's, say it's, let's say soda. Okay. She doesn't drink soda. Very good. Uh... Let's imagine something about Wendy. She. Okay. We, uh huh. We, Wendy. Mm -hmm. Wendy doesn't. Does. Uh huh. Doesn't what? Let's say something that Wendy doesn't do. What's okay. uh, Excuse me? Doesn't. Call client. Play soccer. Ah, play soccer. Good. There you are. Okay, I think that you don't do Karina. Let's say Karina. Uh huh. Karina doesn't teach math. Okay, very good. Okay, and so on. We know now how to say things in the negative way, okay? This is in the negative way, using don't and doesn't. Okay, now there you are. I'm going to take the attendance, guys. Okay. Today we learned two topics. Okay, two topics. Do you remember what topics were they? Um, ¿Qué aprendimos hoy, chicos? Um, daily routine. Daily routines, uh-huh. What how else? Much, how, many? how many? How much? How many? How uh -huh. much? And the last Negative. one? Negative sentences. Yes. Negative sentences. Mm -hmm. Negative sentences. Okay, let me take the attendance now. Uh, Jose, uh, I'm sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez? No, she didn't come tonight. Alexis Antonio Sandoval Morales? No, Alexis, right. Um, Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores? Present teacher. Okay. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez? Present. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez? Present teacher. Vladimir Antonio Santos Valivieso? Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present teacher. Jonathan Ernesto Fuentes Marín. José Atilio Mangandi Alvarado. 
Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present. Present. Eh, <laughs> very good. Uh, but, but I can't see your face. So. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Okay. Uh, Luis Roberto Mejía Menéndez. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Present, teacher. Nancy Ivette Tova Rivera. Present. Omar Alfredo Mozo Flores. Present. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present. Eh, Auri Elena Segovia Rugamas. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present. Félix Moisés Blanco Araniva. Javier Adolfo Mendoza Tobar. Javier Adolfo. No, Javier. Ok. Now, guys, tonight is for... Kevin Antonio, okay. Kevin Antonio stays after the class and time is up. So let's meet us tomorrow. Please be on time and do your homework, okay? So goodbye and let's meet us tomorrow. Good night. Bye. 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 Good night. See you tomorrow. Okay. Hello, Kevin. How are you tonight? Are you okay? No, sure. Fine. Okay, very good. Uh, okay, do you have any question that I can help you with? A question? Um, no. Okay, tell me. Um, okay. Bueno, honestly, a mí siempre me ha gustado bastante el inglés. Entonces, pero siento que se me hace a veces difícil en lo personal aprender, porque como nunca le he dado un seguimiento constante hasta ahora. Ok. Eh, una de las, las cosas que quizás a veces más me cuesta es el tema de los verbos, pero quizás porque no conozco muchas palabras y no las relaciono. Y otra es que a veces a la hora de las estructuras de las oraciones o de las reglas, a veces, quizás por inercia lo relaciono con el español y allí me cuesta okay. formular la oración debidamente en inglés. Pero son, no pesan, pero que es una de las cosas que más me afecta porque no logro captar en sí como el laboratorio de la oración. Y, y a veces tal vez puedo tener la, como es la regla, pero por eso mismo, porque tal vez a veces no logro conocer algún verbo y es donde me, me pierdo. Ok. Ok, I es algo que es mm -hmm. Ok, um, well, what I can help you with this is just giving you some advice, ok? un poquito de consejo, ¿verdad? Sería lo más, lo más simple, pensar en lo más simple primero. Antes de uh -huh. querer, usted domina muy bien el español, ¿ok? Entonces su nivel de español se llama nivel nativo, ¿verdad? Porque pues uh -huh. español es el que usted habla desde bebé. ¿Y cómo aprendió el español? ¿Cómo lo aprendió? O sea, es, vamos a llegar, a la, a, vamos a llegar al, al consejo que le quiero dar, ¿ok? Sí. ¿Cómo aprendió el inglés usted? Eh, perdón, el español. Uh -huh. eh, Ajá. Reconociendo, quizás, o escuchando. Eso, más bien escuchando y la otra parte es repitiendo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. 
repitiendo, imitando. Venimos nosotros y estamos viendo cómo se dice, pero queremos decirlo de otra manera. Porque sentimos que, que van a decir, ah, lo dije igual. No, es, la idea es decirlo exactamente igual. Vale. Cuando usted era okay. un bebé, cuando usted era un bebé, eh, si su mamá, su papá o sus hermanos o quien lo cuidara, en ese momento le decía, ¿quiere leche? ¿Verdad? Usted, ¿cómo reconoció la palabra leche? ¿Cómo reconoció quiere? Entonces, son conceptos bien grandes, ¿verdad? Son conceptos claro. bien grandes. Entonces, nosotros normalmente queremos aprender inglés pensando todo sobre esa palabra. Y no se puede, no se puede. Entonces, tenemos que empezar por... Eh, vaya, una palabra puede tener mil significados. Se puede usar de uh -huh. mil maneras y van a significar lo mismo, ¿ok? O puede ser una palabra que sea la misma palabra y significa 40 cosas diferentes. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Pero no es necesario que al inicio, como estamos ahorita en el, en el módulo 2, usted quiera saber los 40 significados. Porque si no van a decir que yo no aprendí o yo no he aprendido porque no me sé los 40 significados. No. Con uno que vaya yo aprendiendo, ¿ok? Uno que vaya yo aprendiendo, lo básico, básico, básico. A medida uno va practicando lo que ya se sabe. Ah, entonces ya después va a ser como más fácil agregar otro más, otro uh -huh. significado más, otra cosa. Entonces, regrese al tiempo en que cuando usted era un bebé, usted repetía, ¿quiere leche? Yeche, no decía leche, ¿verdad? No decía, yeche, mamá, papá. Ah, palabritas, palabritas. O sea, así vamos a empezar. Y no nos tiene que dar pena, no nos tiene que dar vergüenza, porque siempre es... Así, en todos los idiomas, en todas las formas de comunicación, empezamos por una palabra, ¿ok? Así que si usted mira ahí el tema, mira la pregunta que vamos a hacer y mira la respuesta que vamos a dar, así es. No hay otra manera en ese momento, ¿ok? No vamos a inventar a querer hablar como, ah, como yo hablo español. O sea, es casi imposible, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Es casi sí. imposible. Entonces, vamos aprendiendo y memorizando poco a poco, poco a poco. Y es lo que no da pena. A veces van a decir que dije lo mismo. No, si eso es lo que quiero que diga, ¿verdad? Para que se le quede. Sí, o sea, le pregunto la sí. misma pregunta a cada uno y, le, y espero la misma respuesta de cada uno. Ok. okay. Eso, esa es la forma en que usted va a ir aprendiendo. Ahora, usted me dice... Uh, me cuesta eh, entenderlo porque no relaciono las palabras. Ah, porque no las ha utilizado. Entonces tratemos de utilizar cada palabra que voy aprendiendo y volverla a meter y volverla a meter, ¿verdad? No querramos tener una cosa perfecta de una sola vez, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sí, vamos a ir armando, armando. Por ejemplo, vale, en la parte de rutinas tenemos... Uh -huh. Actividades fue lo que vimos primero, se fijó, ¿verdad? Porque ustedes en el módulo pasado tuvieron que haber visto los pronombres. I, you, we. Entonces ya eso ya no lo tocamos porque ya se lo saben. Entonces vengo yo y les agrego actividades. Ah, luego de las actividades, expresiones de tiempo. ¿A qué horas lo hago? ¿Que si lo hago todos los días? ¿Que si lo hago cada lunes o todos los lunes? ¿Verdad? Entonces, si usted se fija, vamos armando las cosas para llegar hasta el día de hoy que armamos toda una rutina, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ya teníamos varias, varios elementos. Todavía nos falta ver otros elementos, pero vamos a ir poco a poco. Es lo que usted tiene que ir teniendo como un relax. Ahorita está como, ¡Oh, no puedo, ay, no entiendo, ay, yo, no. Uh -huh. Calma, calma y veamos cada cosa por pedacito y pedacito para ah, después es. poder armarlo. Exacto, exacto. Usted me dice, los verbos me cuestan. Sí, los verbos cuestan, pero vamos poco a poco. Ahorita estamos viendo solo el tiempo presente, ¿ok? 
solo diga todo uh -huh. en tiempo presente, lo que hemos aprendido. Por eso les di un vocabulario bastante extenso, largo, en donde decía, I make calls, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Qué otras actividades? What other activities? Then we use these activities, for example, that I do every day in my job. I visit clients. I turn on the computer. I turn off the computer. I turn on the air conditioner. Y todas las cosas que yo puedo en encender, por ejemplo. Eh? I turn on the TV. I Machine. turn on, what? No, turn on, encender. Okay? Uh -huh. Turn on. Ah, de, usted lo tiene ahí en el vocabulario. Entonces, si usted, así es como va a ir asociando, ¿ya? Yeah? Si la utiliza, ¿ok? Entonces, I turn on the TV. I turn on the computer. I turn on the lamp. I turn sure. on mm. the radio. I turn on my cell phone. Then you are going to be adding, but you have to use it. You have to use the vocabulary that you are learning here, ¿ok? Y viera que esto es bien bonito porque Insaforf es eh, el programa que tiene. Es un programa bastante completo y vamos reforzando vez tras vez. En el siguiente mm -hmm. módulo usted va a ver un poquito de este módulo y otro poquito más. Y así. Mm -hmm. Entonces en este, en este programa es bien bonito trabajar porque es a nivel profesional, ¿verdad? Es un nivel bastante alto porque este es un nivel alto de mucho eh, peso, ¿verdad? Eh, este no es el inglés coloquial, digamos, de la calle, ¿verdad? Este es inglés académico, es inglés para que usted pueda trabajar y obviamente en, la, en el trabajo lo van a ver mal si usted habla solo inglés de la calle, ¿verdad? Entonces tiene que hablar correcto, como estamos aquí en Insafor, ¿verdad? Y ese es el objetivo de Insafor, que usted pueda hablar profesionalmente, ¿verdad? Así que céntrese en el vocabulario que nos da el manual, ¿verdad? Okay. Céntrese okay. en el vocabulario de la clase. Y así va a ir poquito a poquito. Son 40 horas, ¿verdad? No vamos a ver todo en una hora. Vamos parte por parte. So, calm down. <risa> Relax. <risa> está, haciendo, está haciendo un buen trabajo. Yo lo escuché. Mira, está haciendo un buen trabajo. Pero tranquilo. Okay, sí. No hay que correr antes de caminar. ¿Verdad? No vamos Correcto. a cantar antes de aprender a hablar. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Y los bebitos cuando cantan, ¿cómo cantan? Ya, 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 ya. Ah, pues así vamos a cantar también nosotros, ¿verdad? Pero poco a poco, pero después, si un niño se queda hablando así, ah, pues ya no, no es normal, ¿verdad? Poco a poco vamos a ir. Avanzando. A los cinco años ya hablando así. <ríe> sí, pero es mi forma de animarlo, ¿verdad? de animarlo porque no está haciendo un mal trabajo solo que tiene que ir parte por parte parte por parte, no se puede todo de un solo, se va parte por parte ¿ok? hacerlo acelerado exactamente, o sea, usted no crea que le van a decir ay, es que no puede porque este no puede, no, cómo no sí puede, pero parte por parte ¿verdad? Uh -huh. okay. así es Okay, is there any question that you want to ask about the class? Question? 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 Okay, you can ask anytime you want. You can ask your questions anytime you want. You can send it through WhatsApp. You can uh, use the chat here to ask questions too. So uh, you, you, I am open to questions. I love to answer questions, okay? Okay. Okay, okay so don't worry. You are doing a good job. Thank you. Okay, there you go. Then let's meet us tomorrow, okay? Sorry. Let's meet uh, us tomorrow. Nos reunimos mañana, okay? okay. Let's meet us Thank tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.